In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use clipboard history on a Chromebook. If you copy and paste a lot of things on your Chromebook, this could come in really handy. You're probably already familiar with how normal copy and paste works on a Chromebook. You copy something and it goes into your clipboard, and then you can go somewhere else and paste it, and you can keep pasting that same thing over and over again if you want because it's still in your clipboard, but as soon as you copy something else, when you go to paste it, it will paste the new thing you just copied. But if you wanted to paste the older thing that you copied before, not the new thing, you can use clipboard history. All you have to do is put your cursor wherever you want to paste on your Chromebook. So it could be in a Google Doc, could be in an email, could be in anywhere where you might be pasting. And now, instead of right-clicking and clicking paste, or pressing Control v on your keyboard, you need to press the search key and the letter V. Or, if you're on a Chromebook that's made by Google, it'll be a circle Google Assistant looking icon and the V key. But, they basically do the same thing and they're in the same place, so just use whichever key you have on your Chromebook and just press it like any other keyboard shortcut. So press both these keys at the same time. And now, on your screen, it will pop up with a list of all the things that you've most recently copied. So, the top option here is the last thing you copied. So, if you just pasted something normally, this is what would paste, because it's just the normal thing, how it normally works. But if we look down this list a bit, you'll see we have this thing, which is the thing we pasted, we copied before this thing. And then we have the thing before that, and the thing before that, and the thing before that. So it's basically a list of the last five things you copied on your Chromebook. And you can now choose to paste any of the ones you want. So if we wanted to paste this one here, you would just click on this one, and now that's pasted in there. So you didn't have to go back and find that again and copy it so that you could paste it because you still have it in your clipboard history. And that's all there is to it. It's not necessarily something you'll use every time you copy and paste something, but if you ever want to copy multiple different things and then choose which one of them you paste, this is how you can do it. And it can often be really handy. But that's all there is to this video, so hopefully you found it helpful, and Tamil will see you in the next one.